Well hi and welcome to this week's vlog. This week I am in Snowdonia and I'm heading up the Watkin Path. path is one of the routes up to Snowdon. Um, I'm not going all the way up to Snowdon, I'm only going to go about halfway up it, but uh, it features woodland, uh, it features some really nice views out across the mountains, it's also got a waterfall, or two, or several, some old buildings, derelict buildings, and a hanging valley, and that's where I'm heading to today. So my plan is, is that I'm going to take the walk not take any images until I get to the furthest point up. And then start to take some shots and then work my way back down, taking shots as I come down. Because I'm not sure how long it's going to take me and I don't want to hang around in the forest, for instance, taking a load of images and then miss out on the opportunity to take some of the derelict building and the waterfalls at the top, which is what I've really come here for. So I will see you guys at the, uh, not the top, but the top for me. And uh, yeah, we'll work out where we go from there. I'm around about halfway up to where I want to be uh, and there's just two things that caught my eye as I look back down the valley and across to the waterfall over there. The first thing is there's a set of trees at the top, I think that's where I'm heading up, uh, up by those trees up there uh, and just as I was wandering up here the sun was such that it was shining on this little group of trees and the background the mountain in the background was in deep shadow and I thought, oh my God, that looks really good. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get that shot. So I've stopped here. I've, I've got the 70 to 200 on. I think, I think I was out at around about 150, maybe a bit more. I'm just focusing in on the trees with the light on them. Yeah, that was one shot. And then I face back down the valley here and I think that's, uh, I'm gonna have a guess that that's, uh, down the bottom there and I'm gonna have a guess that that's more Shabod at the back I'm having a guess here I could be wrong but uh, the light falling on it's beautiful I've got this rock big rock in the foreground for a bit of foreground interest look it's a bit of a a bit of a standard sort of oh that's a lovely shot shot rather than a sort of oh look at me I'm a landscape photographer shot but I just loved it the, the light on this there's a row of trees running down the light was hopefully i've got the light caught on that really nicely the side light on the hills creating lots of texture in the in the far mountains at the background and then i've got this rock in the foreground and everything sort of leads down off into the uh, into the clean at the bottom so yeah that looks hopefully like it's going to be a really good shot as well so i i i'm sorry i stopped and didn't go all the way up but i kind of just had to stop and do that can i just say as well i do really apologize the coat's off and I am sweating 
Uh, it's, it's not an easy, it's an easy walk actually, it's not a difficult walk, but obviously you're walking up a hill. Uh, and actually I thought it was going to be a lot colder than, it, than it's turned out to be so far. So uh, yeah, apologies for my, uh, for my look. So I've made it to the waterfalls. What a gorgeous, gorgeous set of falls these are. Stunningly aqua pools, beautiful falls, lovely autumnal trees in the back with big high peaks behind, very dark. You get a bit of light on those trees. That's what I'm waiting for. The trees lit up, the background dark, the falls running down. The only thing I'm not massively keen on is this, uh, this um, bridge. I know it's old, it looks ancient, but I, don't, I just don't really like it. So the first shot I'm doing is I've got the long lens on, I'm at 70 millimetres and I'm shooting past the bridge, so the bridge on the very, very bottom of the image and I'll probably crop it out. And I'm just going to get this, these balls coming down and like I say, I'm just waiting for the light to hit these trees because the sun's in and out, it's a bit more out than in at the moment, in and out at the moment, uh, but it, it has been, it's fleeting and I'm just waiting for the light to fall on these trees and then I'll take the shot with the dark mountain behind. Uh, I've got a six stop on because I can't, it's just too bright otherwise. It's just not enough time, not getting enough uh, mo movement in the water. It's freezing it a bit too much, um, which could be a problem because the trees are moving a bit. But yeah, I'm just going to wait. It will come, it will come, wait for the light. It's all a bit of a waiting game at the moment because I don't really want to come away from this one particular shot here until I get some light on those trees because I think that's absolutely going to make the image. I think without it, it's still okay. I mean, I've taken a shot without it just in case, but uh, yeah, I need the, the light on the trees, I think will really make the shot. But at the moment, it looks a bit brighter over there, a bit clearer, like we could get some through. I mean, it's not like it's a flat, blanket of cloud there is actually you know some patches of light moving through but it's just uh getting one long enough that i can get sort of four shots in with the light on these trees but you know it's a waiting game it's always a waiting game landscape photography you know you don't always get what you want and sometimes you've just got to sit and wait for it to happen so yeah that's what i'm going to do sit and wait for it to happen There it comes, there it comes, here we go, here we go, get ready.
So as much as I really, really love that turquoise blue drop fall back there, I really don't like the bridge. I do not like that bridge. I don't like it in the shot. So fortunately, there's another turquoisey blue drop fall here, which is just the other side of the bridge and a bit further along. So uh, I've climbed down the bank. I'm sort of a little bit precariously balanced, not me, the tripod. Uh, and I'm taking a shot of this fall here. Unfortunately, the diagonal rock on the right hand side is shielding the big falls. But I'm going to have a look and see if there's a way that I can get to those in a minute. But yeah, it's, um, it's actually a really nice shot. Uh, I've got this lovely turquoise pool. I've got the diagonal here of this uh, rock coming down. And then on the left hand side, I've got another diagonal coming down at the back with the pool sort of in the right hand bottom third. So left hand bottom third, sorry. So uh, I may have to put on my six stop ND because again, I'm struggling a little bit with uh, exposure times. It's difficult, I could do with the three stop really, but I don't have one. Um, I might just try playing about with the uh, ISO, uh, just to try and pull the exposure times down a little bit with the six stop on. the things I do for photography I'm not sure if I'm sane sometimes uh, I saw the shot behind me uh, of the waterfall close up the bigger one and it's it's lovely actually I think it was going to look really nice as sort of a very 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 contrasty image with a lot of the darks really dark the water nice and bright a few little splashes of leaves around but to get to it, I've had to walk across this slab of rock that's on a, on a slope. And uh, it's a bit, well, it's a bit slip. Well, it was a little bit slippery, yeah. So um, I've got to get back now across it. Uh, but I've got the shot. So, you know, the worst that can happen is slide down the rock into the water. Uh, and then I just have to work out how I'm going to get back, probably swim. Um, but, you know, it's all in the name of photography, it's for you guys, you know. I put my life at risk for you, just know that. <laughs> anyway, hopefully the shot will look good. Somewhat unsurprisingly, I've spent probably too much time here now <laughs> uh, and I haven't got time to go on to the house, which is why I wanted to get to the derelict house first. But never mind, these things happen. Uh, this is a fantastic set of waterfalls here. Lovely walk. There's, there's shots to be had down in the, in the, in the uh, woodland area. There's shots to be had on the way up. There's shots to be had at this waterfall. No doubt there's shots to be had further up as well. But uh, I've run out of time, to be honest with you. I've got everything that I want. I've really enjoyed it here. It's, it is a tricky walk. Well, not tricky, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's not a flat walk. You have got to walk up a hill. It is a bit taxing for someone like me, but look, if I can do it, you could do it. So uh, yeah, I'll recommend it. If, you're, uh, if you've got a couple of hours spare, take your time, wander up here. Lovely views. Been pretty much alone for most of the time as well, which is really good. But yeah, really enjoyable. So. Thanks ever so much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed it. All the usual applies. And until next time, I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.